What is success? Is it the constant loss for money, the pursuit of fame, being able to wake up every day without dreading the day? For some, it might be to look at their bank account and see at least nine figures. For others, it's having a name that people will remember. But for a certain pink rabbit, it was being able to build a place where she can be herself, laugh at nonsensical things, and finally be recognized as someone with value. This is her story. And you might think, oh, so they're in like a nice house or something. Like these were, these were like chips and salsa. She's literally me. And don't come to my house and kill me. Come to my house and kill me. Jesus Christ. Cat Cope with the goddamn pain. I was in so much pain. I had been fucking drinking heavily the previous night trying to wash away the pain. And he's sitting there, he's explaining to me he's being like, choked by mommy milkers. Ooh. Wait, that's an important question. What's your, what's the important question? I'm Cat at 200k? Oh my fucking god. If uh if you may, please can can you introduce yourself? Oh, um, my name is Moon. I run a YouTube channel called YouTube. Uh, <laughs> uh, YouTube channel called Moonshine Animations. Um, I do stop motion, mostly with uh, anime figurines that I kit bash together. I've recently been making a lot of face connect content. They're very fun. Hello everyone, my name is Yadid. I'm the channel Shooting Star Idol from Shady Productions, and it's super nice to see everyone today. Uh, this, <laughs> this is the second time we're doing this because I fucking hate technology, and I wanna, I wanna kill John Adobe and like Jack OBS and shit. In Minecraft, so, of course. No, no. <laughs> um. So can you can, can you introduce yourself? Hello, I'm Kirsha Verstall. I'm a fluffy fox VTuber. My name is. And I am a moderator for Pippa. Hello, hello, hello. This is Cinnabonbon, bon, your resident DIYer at Flavor. It's nice to meet you. Hepkin Pippa Pratt debuted the 20th of June 2001. She didn't explore right away. In fact, she was behind in terms of subscribers compared to her germates. And for a while it seemed she didn't catch her stride. She has said that it was because at the beginning, both management and her self-doubt was eating at her. Nevertheless, she managed to accumulate a loyal, fervent, and creative audience. As such, Pippa started experimenting with community streams further solidifying herself as a streamer and at the same time gaining confidence in her abilities. This gave her a slow and steady growth that was nothing to scoff at. Despite this, her passion when she talked about low cows made her something of a black sheep in the VTuber world. As such, she kept to herself in terms of collabs and regular VTuber interactions. How, how did you find Pippa? So before Pippa, I wasn't really into VTubers if I did interact with VTubers, it was for like voice acting opportunities. But uh, one day, um, one of her shorts came across my uh, home feed and Look, I watched it and it was, it was different. It was definitely very different. Um, Pippa isn't, you know, she's not like the other girls, right? <laughs> yeah, she had a very refreshing energy to her. And after watching the short, I looked into her more and then, you know, I, I got sucked in and it was fun. And through Pippa, I learned about all the other FaZe girls too, so. Uh, it was actually through when FaZe Connect announced like they were an agency and they were debuting their first generation. And surprisingly enough, Pippa was the one that stood out to me because I was going through a phase where I was like, I love pink. Oh my God. She has like cute little, she is in J fashion. Okay. So in J fashion, there's a fashion called Dekora and she had like little clips and everything. I'm like, oh my gosh, she reminds me of like Dekora fashion. It's so cute. She's pink. She's a rabbit. Literally everything like I love. And yeah, she was the first one that actually caught my eye and that's the whole reason actually why i'm following face connect is because of her um i even watched her i've been watching her since like debut and everything so yeah yes i was there during all of the phase debut streams i was uh looking forward to hers the most especially after all of the uh, pre-debut antics on twitter and the video scene already uploaded uh Watching her lose her wrench before her own debut stream couldn't have been a bigger clue to her personality as a streamer. I have been in it since about June of 2022. I've been watching her shorts and then her clips. And then when I watched her first live stream, I clicked out almost immediately because she was screaming and I got scared. 
And then I've been watching her since then and tuning in quite often, although not as much now that I, I stream overlap. <laughs> Peepad started experimenting with different kinds of streams, like the thirst rooms, book clubs, and the same set of Pokemon run where she didn't finish the game, but she caught nine new dudes. It showcased Peepad's tenacity to stream, even while she was in pain from her fucked up teeth or hyped up on Benadryl, which demonstrated that she had the greed where it did rain, purred, or snowed, she was gonna stream at the same hour for five days a week. This might be one of the best and worst qualities, since after a series of streams where she complained about her tooth pain, a rain of concern started to put out, to the point that now it's a recurring meme to ask her about brushing her teeth. Chad told her to go to the dentist, since stuff like that can become a risk to her life. And after that, she stopped talking about it, so Chad wouldn't have to worry about it. But a funny meme wasn't the only thing that came out of that, since a couple of months later, she stopped streaming for three weeks since she broke that same tooth with a corn chip. For me, I think it's like a combination of everything. Cause like when you're a VTuber, you know, you kind of have to have like a combination of the luck. You have to have the personality, you have to have the, I don't know what's the right word for it, but like the social abilities to like reach out to people and, and do networking. And it, it, and even then, like you need to also have like the personality for it as well. And I think Pippa is like a good example of the combination of all these things just morphing together. And the results of course have been super super like explosive i feel like she has a very unique way of going into content so she definitely knows things that the rest of us are just incapable of seeing some kind of you know artist savant as it were and i think the feet definitely played a small part i say small because i feel like just to say that the feet were some sort of catalyst would be to negate how much effort she puts in regularly but the feet definitely definitely helped gaining a lot of people who would otherwise not be interested interested like a giant meme game that everybody could compete Pete in, you know? Uh, like, he will not divide us. I'm sure Shia LaBeouf didn't expect it to be a massive game of Capture the Flag, but because everybody could join together and do something for fun that got a major reaction out of the person who set it up, it made them want to keep doing it. And that was the same with Pippa. People, some people I'm sure wanted to see her feet and slobber all over them 10 delicious kernels, but others just wanted to shitpost and see how she would react to it. Which one of, you, of that uh, are you, Kirsch? So the reason I'm not into VTubers is like most of them do the fucking the ooh bean shit, you know, They're like, oh, cutesy, I'm an anime girl. And I'm like, you're not a fucking anime girl. Like, for me, Pippa is so engaging because like she feels like a real person. I see the person behind this mask of a VTuber. There, there was one stream I remember I was working and I, I just had the streams on in the background while I work. It got emotional. She 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 got very emotional um, to the point of tears, and um, I guess the mask kind of comes off. And for me, that goes so much more for her. I don't know. How do, I don't know how to word this. It's like I don't know. It 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 felt like there was just so much more to her that she was letting on. It felt it felt more meaningful. It felt more real, and it was very raw. And I remember I just stopped working. I just stopped working to actually like pay attention to the stream and like really watch. And what she was getting emotional over was her um, her struggle, her struggle of being a content creator before she became Pippa. Find what I want to do with my life because YouTube is obviously not gonna work. And I'm so dumb and I just kept on that YouTube hope. <laughs> I just kept hoping, YouTube, YouTube, YouTube! I don't want to do anything else, I only want to be a content creator! You're doing pretty well as far as I can tell. Man, I am doing... way better than I was before. If you guys only knew how many things I've tried. The Reddit stuff happened at a very cynical point, where I was so... I was getting so tired. I was getting so tired of trying to find something that would work. So when I did it, it just it sucked my soul out. God, when streaming became like the, the way to get uh, promotional, uh, get boosted in the algorithm for your content, I also tried streaming. God, and I would stream for like. I'm sorry. 
I'm an idiot. <laughs> uh, God, I stream for like six hours to like one viewer. <laughs> I'm sucked. Fucking hate that part of my life. Yeah, she lets herself be vulnerable. After watching that stream, I was like, I want to see her grow. I want to see her succeed as like a person and as like just an individual in her company as a, as a, you know, her brand. Because um, I've been doing YouTube for like 12 years and I've never played the YouTube game very well. So for me, I've had peers that have skyrocketed up in success because, you know, they, they do, you know, they play the game, they know what to do. But for me, I've never experienced like massive success on YouTube. I've just been a slow crawler like the whole time. And so because of that, you know, it's, um, I get it. I get the grind. I, I understand like the struggles. So when I heard her talk about that, it, you, you know, you know the meme that the Kapipis always use? Like she's like me for real, for real? It's, it's literally me, yeah. <laughs> that, that was the only time I was like, oh, you know what? I, I know what that feels like. It's really much a formula, even though, like, a lot of people would say, like, luck is definitely a big factor in this because it's just a matter of being seen by the right people at the right exact time with the algorithm being very, very perfect and in your favor at that moment. But honestly, I, from what I've witnessed, I think it's a combination. I think one factor as well that a lot of people don't take into consideration is how dedicated uh, Pippa's community is. There's, I, I go on a lot of like discords and they're like, oh, did you do like the, the project that is gonna, you know, uh, help Pippa out? Or like, did you do like this fan project, this and that? Like they're always organizing and figuring out ways to uplift Pippa actually. And I think it's super cool. Not a lot of YouTubers are lucky enough to have a fan base like that. And it's a factor that I'm surprised not a lot of people take into consideration, but I think that's one thing that like is definitely a huge, huge factor as well. So TLDR, it's a combination of things plus a lot of the dedicated fan base that she has. Pippa's told me to suck on her toes a few times now, and I'm just gonna do that. I knew at the time she was something special and I wasn't gonna miss a stream, but I had no idea I just, how much she would mean to me and how she would really come to exemplify that word. Oh, she. In February of 2022, Pippa chose to participate in active e-drama, something that she had not done before, and many of us are still pretty vocal about it. Mostly me, I'm never gonna let it go. The Red Stream, as it's known now, was the introduction of e-drama to Pippa's community, something that fractured the community and made it so that if you were an active Pippa fan at the time, no matter the place, might be the official Discord, the thread in the green Reddit, or any other place Part where you talk about Pippa. The discourse will always come back to doom posting, bringing up e-drama, or politics. So the community fracture between the people that knew about the medium and VTubing and its rules, and those who didn't. Pippa was, and probably still is, the first VTuber many people have seen. And this means that people coming from outside the hobby might bring up manners that are considered disrespectful in the medium. It seems that for the based crowd, the idea of doing the reps and lurking, it's a bit too much trouble. Being rude in a stream chat isn't the only problem because we can see there's a tendency that the new friends are always trying to make Pippa comment on the current e-drama or current political conflict or current X thing. But new friends are new friends and we can only hope that they can understand with time. I feel her growth is entirely deserved, and I couldn't be more proud of all the hard work she's put in to get into where she's at now. As her audience grows, more and more people become regulars and find their part in her community. Uh, I sort of see it as my responsibility or my part in the community to help encourage that growth and furnish the interaction between her and her community with uh, projects for milestones and holiday celebrations and as she, as she grows, we can do more as a community to uh, give back to to her and really celebrate just how much she gives to us every night. Um, as a pit pal, as it were. Oh my. Uh, yes, I. 
<laughs> I do think that people misunderstand her entirely in that regard. I know from watching all of the Hogwarts drama, there were a lot of people on both sides who wanted to attribute different things politically to her. I don't think, even, even with what she did with Hogwarts, all it was was shitposting. She said, I hate Harry Potter, but I hate Twitter freaks even more. And I think that's something literally everyone can agree with. I don't think that's a political statement. And I don't think Pippa really makes political statements all that often on her streams. If they come into video games, she might comment on them briefly. Briefly, but she certainly doesn't do like political reels or anything like that on her streams. Pippa has an astounding ability to draw in people just from a wide range of audiences, and that is made for one of the most just interesting and diverse communities I've ever seen in all my years following VTubers. Watching people who would normally have just stuck their nose up to watching any sort of anime content uh, now spend their evenings watching this just cute pink bunny girl uh, makes me really happy and just makes me feel like there's always common ground to be found with, with people. No matter what space, medium, hobby, there's always going to be something that is quote unquote problematic. And if we were to adopt, I guess, like the ideals of like, we cannot support X, Y, and Z because of ABC, it, we're not, we're not going to be able to live as people. And it sucks that it's like that. And I hate it so much because trust me, I'm, I, I would say I do have like a little, I'm a little bit neutral when it comes to a lot of things. Uh, there's some stuff I'm, I'm leaning left on or some stuff I'm leaning light on. However, I, I, ha I we have to live. As people we have to have you know th there's a limit to everything you know i don't like it when people say that things are political or when vtubers are political because the only you only make it i guess like political is when you add politics into your stream but at the same time not everything to me is political but that's just my perspective i could be completely wrong about it and it's okay that i am because i'm always open to learning from other perspectives too but for me i, I just don't believe that a lot of what she does is political if I have to be honest, is it, and it doesn't even sit right with me when people try to try to make it political. It doesn't matter the side either. Man, like, I'm just trying to watch a cute bunny girl play play silly video game. That's all I want to do. I, I, I already have to deal with a lot in my day-to-day -day life, whether it be my job, whether it be having to, like, keep up with the news or having to deal with, like, some financial shit, like, all the shit that's going on right now. It's very tiring to deal with. So not only does, like, it upset me that, like, I have to deal with, like, that political stuff online, even though a lot of people can't escape from it because that's their everyday, but it's also my everyday, and I just want a place to escape from it and Pippa's actually really really helped me you know find that escapism as silly as it is I hope it makes sense she just wants to shit post and someone having like edgy humor or dark humor or being able to joke about things that in the current climate are considered not okay to joke about doesn't mean she has a specific political affiliation and people trying to use her to prop up some sort of political ideology I don't think are watching her for the right reasons the melting pot that is Pippa's community, they all have a slightly different idea of what they expect to see from her and her content each night. And sometimes people leave disappointed when they discover the focus of her content isn't what certain parts of your community advertise it as, necessarily. But for every viewer that has clicked off her stream for not being as quote-unquote based as she expected or as they expected, it seems like 3,000 more have stayed for her unique charm and personality, and that shines through all of her streams and uploads, and that really is her content, is her. Should we condemn Peppa for getting riled up by her chat and she starting to go into topics that should probably be brought up with staff first? Should we act as we haven't been part of the mob in the moment of excitement? Should we just become unhinged aunties because she did some stupid shit in the heat of the moment? You could. You could just become a schizo and give her attributes she doesn't have, ideas that aren't hers and Sure, she has some pretty bad ideas, but that's part of why we watch her, because she's fucking dumb and she thinks Korean MMOs where you grind to a fucking halt are fun. Sure, we could fall into the eternal chase of grandstanding, but if we do that, we are part of the problem. The problem that poisons fun spaces, because people try to keep everything in their life about the current thing. But we already have the perfect way to respond to them. What the fuck are you talking about? Just shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! Your, your politics are fucking cringe! Shut the fuck up! With Gen 1, at least, all of it was 
Pippa fans. Like, all of us came together kind of as a community, which Pippa has an amazing community. We're always doing amazing fan works, like even this. And, you know, I think there was this want to see if it was going to be, you know, kind of like a funny joke or was it going to be a meme or any of those things, but it ended up being a lot more real than I think any of us were anticipating. But I think because she has the community that she's built, that is what, you know, started everything off. And I think enough people saw that and wanted to get in on that as well of like, oh, this is like becoming a whole community outreach project. And it's almost like this big group project that all of the Kapipis are in on. I'm I'm pretty antisocial. I'm friendly, but I'm antisocial. I don't go out of my way to talk to people. I'm, you know, if it's not work related, if it's not business, I really don't give a shit. I try not to do anything like that. So I, and because of that, I've never really belonged in any community. I've never really invested in a community. I've never cared for it. Um, I'm just kind of a loner in that sense. But when I first made my first Pippa video, I guess I wasn't expecting the, the feedback and just how much people liked it and the appreciation. That was new, yeah. like appreciation for something because I've tried making content for like all sorts of different fan bases. So, and because of that, um, my, my net is spread too wide. And because of that, uh, my views are all over the place. My YouTube algorithm is like fucked up. It's beyond repair. Whenever I make stuff for FaZe or Pippa, it's consistent and there's just so much appreciation from the community that I like, it's nice. It's nice and you know, there's like this genuine like love for what I do from the community and because of that, it makes me want to make more stuff for them and you know, like take part in like your projects and stuff, you know? I, I, I'm very skeptical when people want to collab because with my work, it's like, how the fuck do you collab? You know, what are you going to come to my studio and you're going to, you're going to work with me? <laughs> and you know, most people that want to collab, they're like, I'll write the story and you can animate. I'm like, fuck off. <laughs> you know, it's been a really long time since I've actually had fun doing what I do. You know, like this is my job. Stop motion is my job. It's what I do for a living. So like, yeah, I, I love the community, the good, the bad and the ugly, because it's like, I, I love it. They're loyal. Definitely reminds me of my days on a certain basket weaving website. Um, very intimidating when you look at it from the outside and you don't know what the heck you're getting into. But as you kind of interact and enter into it, you just know there are a whole bunch of cool people who who are just not who are. I don't know how to describe it actually, because like it's just keynote to me. It's very comfy, um, very open. Actually, a lot of people don't think that Pippa's community is pretty open, but like I have made a lot. Lot of good friends actually in Pippa's community. I don't know, it's just keynote, it reminds me of the good old days and at least I could share my boomer opinions with all of them as well. We all share like a lot of good boomer opinions together. <laughs> at the risk of waking up with two bullets in the back of the head, Pippa is very sweet and I've talked about multiple times how she probably feels more relatable and approachable because not only is she very sweet despite a uh, her demeanor, sometimes on stream. We all, we all we all exaggerate certain qualities of our actual personalities, you know? But she's a shit poster, just like the rest of us. But showing a more intimate side of yourself to your audience, it could have negative repercussions for sure, but it's also like you're being honest with both yourself and your audience with who you are. You're not trying to hide what you are behind some sort of Instagram filter to make yourself look more perfect. You're just like, this is who I am. This is what you're going to get. And if you have fun, I fucking stick around. If you don't, fuck off. And I think, I think having that attitude, especially in today's climate where everything is so sanitized and so cherry picked to be perfectly placed in front of you without any, any edge or any, anything that could offend anyone. It's, it's a rare thing to find. So it, it definitely creates a sort of fanaticism that makes people gravitate towards her. And I've, I've mentioned multiple times before how she was a huge influence on how I felt about my content when I was starting out, because I also thought that you had to present a sanitized version of yourself and seeing her be very raw and open about her struggles and her issues and things that she's worried about for the future made me feel that I should or could even do the same 
same thing with my audience. Like why put up the effort to pretend to be something I'm not or to shut off certain emotions because people might not like me if I'm angry or if I show anxiety or if I'm sad, right? These are just normal human emotions that everyone has. And some people don't like that. You know, some people just want the entertainer with none of the other human baggage attached to it. But there's so many people that want someone relatable instead of just like, you know, a TV figure persona. I forgot the point of this question. <laughs> Some people say Pippa wrote the cocktails of other creators to get where she is. I would say that those people are probably pretty worthless. They're not anyone she really needs to worry about, in my opinion. And I, I can resoundly say that she could probably weather any kind of controversy that happens. She's very tough Benoit. They don't understand because they've never tried and they've never put in the work. So it's easy, it's easy to shit on things that you know nothing about, you know? I'm not a big filmmaker, so whenever I go to the movies and I watch something, let's say, let's say a Marvel film, I don't leave the theater thinking, what a shitty Marvel film, like blah, 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 blah. I think, okay, well, that was fun. That was a movie. If I don't, if I know for sure I can't do a better job, I really don't shit on it. So when I see people shitting on content creators, I'm like, you know, like, the, what the fuck do you do, you know? Do you, are you out there putting yourself out for hours at a time? Do you go, you know, edit content? Do you do anything? Do you put in any kind of work at all to, you know, give you any kind of credibility to like talk shit about people? Like if not, shut the fuck up. Your opinion isn't like valid. If they were, I don't know, if they had some sort of credibility, fine, whatever. They have an angle at least. And you know, they're entitled to their opinion. Yeah, sure, you can say luck and luck is a big part of it, you know, and you know, luck, if there's a if there's a wave, you ride the wave. That's just how it goes. Um, Pippa had a big, huge swell, and she, you know she she should ride that as far as she can. And you know it's a good thing. It's a good thing. I want to see her go far. It's exciting to see her like punching above her weight class. You know, it's great because you know I might not have been there from like the very beginning, like a lot of her fans have, but like just seeing that explosive growth and just you know it, it's been a roller coaster. It's fun. It's fun. I like. I'm just, I'm just shocked that she listened to her head read free like that. Like, I don't know. For me, it's like, there are some people out there, you know, who probably don't deserve the sex that they have. But at the same time, it's like, why am I going to spend my energy trying to like prove it or, you know, try to sway people to believe how I believe when I can just like do something else or be productive, go stream or something, you know? I just think it's silly. I think it's silly to like say that someone doesn't deserve something just because, because I believe that they shouldn't or because they do the X, Y, and Z that I don't like. It's a lot of energy to waste. It's a lot of emotional, dare I say, emotional damage to have. <laughs> I think Pippa is in incredibly relatable. Just she is, as you said, vulnerable in certain times, but she is very much just a real person. And despite the, the high energy, not necessarily act, but the show she puts on, she is a performer, she's an entertainer. It, behind all that, her her humanity just shines through, and as you said, there's vulnerability, but there's also her strength. Uh, people identify with with her in that, I believe, in that wide range of of a spectrum of seeing yourself in in another person is just very powerful and motivating to to watch them grow and succeed the way Peppa has and. I believe that is one of the big things driving the growth of Pippa's community is, is the work and the just how much of herself she puts into her content. Comment to that, she deserves to be much farther than she is right now. Uh, she's, she's catching up to where she should be, and uh, it, it's happening fast, but it's she's still behind where she should be for the work that she's put in for the years that she's been doing. Have you seen a Mori collab? That would be that would be my question back. You know, it, it, it's hard to full up, fully grift off of people if you can't even get a. You know, you know what I mean. Like she hasn't got the collab. She, I don't. 
think she'd be able to even handle the clave. I think she'd lose her spaghetti too much. <laughs> I mean, I don't think that that's grifting to interact with somebody on a platform where they're open to interact and interact back with you. And I don't think there's any grift involved. And beyond that, I think you look at her consistency. She streams at the same time every single day that she streams except Sunday and Monday right? Tuesday through Saturday, 9 p.m. You can expect her to be there. She's consistent and that consistency pays off. A lot of streamers who think that they deserve to have some sort of payoff, you look at their stuff and they're not consistent. I think that that consistency is really the, the biggest key that I've even found streaming is just keeping everything consistent and she does that every single time and she more than deserves what she has. So I want to see her bigger. I want to see her at 1 million. <laughs> as a content creator, and especially as someone who has Pippa's size, you're going to get people who are clout chasing. You're going to get people who are like, this streamer's going somewhere and I want to make sure I catch the ride so that I can also capitalize on it. It's, it's just one of the hazards of the biz, I guess you could say. But there's obviously people who enjoy interacting with her and enjoy her content and aren't doing that kind of thing. And I think that Benui is smart enough to know which one is which. Oh god, I've been having the it's just a bubble brain worms myself and I'm only a fraction of, of her viewership. But considering how hard I know she works and how much everyone, including myself, when I can catch her streams, enjoys the performance she puts on, I'm gonna have to say, uh... <clears throat> Pippa! Shut the fuck up! People love you, you dumb whore! Stop being so down on yourself, okay? It's not everything's gonna be great. It's not a bubble. It's not a fucking bubble. You're gonna keep growing and you've been crazy rising. The first collab I did with you, you had like 300, 350 average viewers. And like barely six months later, you were broaching 1K. That's kind of crazy. That's not just a bubble. Um, that's, a, that's a lot of effort. What makes Pippa the the VTuber personality she is? What what it's what is the secret sauce? Schizophrenia. So, Gersh, do you think? <laughs> Uh, honestly, the one thing that Pippa really taught me is just not to give a fuck. Uh, excuse my language, but seriously, no, like, the one thing I really admired about Pippa, just, just in general, like, I really admire that she doesn't, like, give a fuck, and if she needs to, like, wrangle in certain people and tell them, like, hey, no, she still does it, like, she does it with, of course, like, of course she has, like, her men hair moments and everything, but for me, it's, like, in the moment, I can tell, like, she is confident, but then, like, five seconds later, she's, like, a little bit, like, not apprehensive, but, like, kind of scared about, like, what's gonna happen next after... She takes like this, I'm not gonna give a fuck action. Uh, but at the same time, it's like, I I grew up being a doormat and I I would say I'm still a doormat, but I'm definitely a lot better than I used to be. Uh, so it's the fact that like, she doesn't really give a fuck. She does whatever the fuck she wants. And it's something that like, I personally integrated into myself ever since I uh, did that collab stream with her last year, actually. Mm -hmm. I think some of it is just playing the algorithm game of getting your your content out there. I mean, there's plenty of people who are bigger than her that don't hold um, the CCV that she holds. She has an amazing ratio of people who watch live compared to who's, you know, subscribed. And I think she's done an amazing job at farming a community that likes to watch her content and she's extremely consistent with her schedule. She's extremely consistent with posting shorts, with keeping the content, you know, consistent to what she is used to putting out and what people kind of come to expect from her. So I think that consistency is really what's paid off the most. And I think, you know, some of the other VTubers even kind of highlighting her uh, has also kind of put her in the spotlight in a really good way. Some people say that she got lucky, that at some point, her log will, will run out. Some will say that she's pandering to green reddit and that will cost you. That she will crash and burn for that. All of those people weren't there. They don't know about circles or the best candy. You weren't there when she told us how much it matters to her to finally have an audience that understands and likes her. They weren't there for the story of how much she grinded to make a name for herself. How much she suffered because of it. How scared she is of losing it all. But 
they don't have to get it. Not everybody has to understand why the pink woman with a lisp has such a fervent, creative and abrasive audience that will go out of their way to make art, music and billboards just for a meme. Pippa's success is not a matter of luck, not a matter of leeching, not a matter of pandering. It's a culmination of years of struggle from a girl that had the dream of becoming the female Asmongold. What's up, dudes? Welcome to my... <laughs> Welcome to my mind, dudes! Today, we're gonna be playing some Minecraft, dudes! They're gonna keep coming. She's gonna be a one million Benoit before long, and she's gonna be the same Benoit she's always been. I'm sure there's gonna be people who are like, I miss the real Pippa. But you know, it's always, it's always summer. There's always new friends. And I know she's gonna worry, cause that's what she's good at. <laughs> I don't think she has anything to worry about. It's not just a bubble, and she does deserve the success that she has. And I am excited to be able to see her and what other crazy new shit she decides to come up with. Because I don't think anyone besides her could have done quite a few of the unique streaming ideas that she's had. I'd want to tell her, you know, keep being you, keep being cool. You're doing a great job. Believe in yourself. You know, all the, all the cliche shit. Because, you know... Cliché shit is cliché for a reason, but, you know, I want her to know that I genuinely wish for her success, and I'm, I'm excited to see how far she goes, and, you know, I'm there for the whole ride. Congratulations on 200k, Pippa! I'm so proud of you, and I can't believe you have grown this much since I have started watching you since the beginning. It's kind of crazy, but at the same time, I'm very proud of you, and I can't wait to see what you do in 2023 and beyond. And I hope that I hope I hope you I hope you become like very successful and very happy. I mean you already are, but you, you get what I mean. I'm sorry, I'm not good with words, but I love you. <laughs> Keep going. Even if you get tons of live watchers, you're not allowed to quit. <laughs> Life or streaming. That is that is a demand. <laughs> keep keep going. Forever. Congratulations, Pippa. Your 200k is a little bit behind schedule, but you'll you'll catch up eventually. Do you think it's necessary for a content creator to be held accountable by its community so they don't burn themselves out? Do you, do you think that's necessary or it's like an afterthought? Um, I don't know if it's necessary, but I know as a content creator, I appreciate when people in my community yell at me to remember to eat or to remember to do certain things because I'm always just busy as fuck. It's not, it's not exactly something you should rely on your audience for, obviously, but it, it's nice to know that people do care and they want to make sure you're taking care of yourself because as a content creator you get in that mindset of like if I take time off I'm letting them down if I take time off I I'm not doing anything and I'm I'm wasting time and it's it's really hard to sometimes break out of that and be like okay I need to take this time off for my own mental health or my own physical health so that I can be better for my audience when I when I feel more up to it you know so you would say that being held accountable by your community it's, it's uh beneficial yeah second question following that i'm gonna i'm gonna need you i'm gonna send you an image and i need you to look at it that is uh spicy korean ramen you just you just told us that being held accountable by the community it's a good thing this uh, this is the spicy ramen challenge this uh has been a thing of contention in the community for years to up to today after a year and almost four months she hasn't done anything what do you mean by hasn't done anything so you see the itch uh, milk one punishment yeah she drank two bottles of milk uh-huh she did has not done anything op hasn't delivered hmm 
Well, as someone who also hasn't been able to deliver on some things, sometimes it's out of your hands. However, I think I can I can buff your response here. And I'm looking at that horror stream, and I'm saying, Pippa, Pippa, you bitched out of using that Hoiji board to summon those ghosts in your house. And you could you could do a double whammy. Uh, you could give back to the people by doing the horror stream and the Hoiji board stream at the same time. It's that easy. One stream doing all of them, and it would be over. And I wouldn't have to bitch about it anymore. I don't. I don't know about all that, cause like if I'm looking at I'm looking at the the one ship challenge, and I'm thinking to myself, I wouldn't want to do that either. <laughs> but that but that's that's the thing, Kirsch. She promised us. What what is a man without it? True, a man is only as good as his word. Yeah, and 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 being held accountable by your community, it's a good thing. You 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 told me this. Pip Pippa, my friend, I will defend you against a lot, but I don't think I can defend you here. <laughs> like, like, I think I think you need to live up to your word. There might be some detractors, mostly her, saying that she did <laughs> the the butter karaoke, right? But here's the thing, Kirsch. The butter the, the butter karaoke wasn't wasn't a punishment. She just sang in it butter. She likes butter. <laughs> Are you sure she likes the butter? Yes. You can see. You can see the stream. She. She. She was just like, yeah, uh, yeah, whatever, and just bit down on the butter. Yeah. No. P Pippa, it's time to p pay up, as they would say. As a content creator who has also done these sort of challenges, um, they are very hard, and I am on her side. A good bye. That's all I have to say. Thank you. Actually, even a punishment, because she just ate the butter. Oh my gosh! Yeah, I know. I've she seen... just she just ate the butter. So I've seen the drawing. I can already hear her screaming "fuck you" to this part. I know, I know, I know. You know, like I know. Like it wouldn't be the first time she just told me to fuck up, but <laughs> yeah, I can already hear it. It has been almost two years, right? Like, like I'm not gonna let it go. You know, no, clearly you're not. Like, do you think I don't, it was? I don't like to put out promises I can't keep because. Y'all right? are crazy. Right, right. Because you're gonna have a schizo like me that is just gonna be like, bro. <laughs> gonna be like, you promised me. Bro. I think they would be easy. I don't even feel like these are punishments. At least not for me. They don't seem that bad. A horror stream, not too bad. Hot sauce, I like hot sauce. Peppa Pig, whatever. One chip, okay. Bean boozled, all right. It's easy, you know. It's, these are easy. She could yeah. do, she could do all these in one stream just to satisfy it and be like, oh. yeah, yeah, just and be, and, and just like get over it, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna send you a picture, and I want you to tell me if you know what this is. <laughs> She's never gonna fulfill those promises. That's 190,000 subs ago, my friend. She has to be held accountable. Still think we could probably roll those all into one stream and get it over with right like th this this aren't hard to do just just get it over with you but actually with the uh would, some of these would probably make for a pretty decent hand cam just just do it just so, so that uh, that way i can just stop talking about it you know you can't do this to me this is discrimination she's my pipper